Seem so far away. The only thing between us is empty space, empty space. And even when the music is loud, I'd rather be no other place than here with you now. Here with you now.
so I'll give them the number. Rift string the tiles to search for. That's weird. Okay. okay the position is going to be 31, 39. Oh, strain expected? Wait. The fuck? Okay, that's just totally broken then. <clears throat> okay, I think I just need to rewrite this uh, path find point task. Because I'm going to base it not on tiles, but based on obstacles. And if I need it, it's all in Git. Hmm. Good tiles go on now. This is based on position. So I guess I'm not gonna use more than the tile cost anymore. of the graph, right? Alright, I'll get rid of this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Chief, okay, so visit and visited. Also not needed. Uh, I'm gonna keep the list of possible tiles. Mm -hmm. I what this was gonna be. Is possible tile. Um, I don't mind this actually. I think I like it. It's possible tile. Thanks, thanks, um... Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. This one I don't need. Okay. Okay, path find. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. Path find tip if not path found. Destination, figure out if the destination is possible. Okay. Okay, well, first of all, let's create a log right here. So we can. Which is probably an okay test. And the path is going to be an array of points for you. Uh, it's an array of tiles. 
Okay, so I'm gonna make this a pillar of points. So this can just be the log. Next. Yes. Yes. Play print. Yeah, so this would be a weird case if we're calling tick when we haven't found a path yet. Okay. If the destination is not walkable terrain, let's just log it. Uh, we should probably play a print something there as well. to return Fringe. I'm gonna keep them all fringe size. Uh, okay, let's just trash all this. Oh shit, I keep them there. <clears throat> severity on this. So, <clears throat> first we have to look at the space. Let's do it. Yes. 
stuff comes up. Okay. Expected. Awesome. So that will work. Um, what do I need to? Well, let's just do it for trees. If I run into a rock, then I can add rocks to the filtered list. Okay. So find it. It's filtered. So I want the most left, so the lowest x coordinate. Top, so the lowest y coordinate. Uh... 
is going to be basically the same, but for max. Paste. Max. Max. Okay. That's our founding box. So we find all the trees. Okay. Now we want to...
Description box. Because if I'm looking at the data here. So this is the player margin. So now we're gonna get for each tree, we're gonna get its collision box. Tree. Prototype. Collision box. And we're gonna create a node for each corner of the collision box. But plus player's margin. I'm starting to forget how beautiful you are. Yes. <clears throat> For this first point, which is going to be the top left, is going to be the tree's position. Minus the tree's top left bounding box. Uh, box dot left top dot x. Uh, minus the player margin. X and then that is going to be times the uh, player margin coefficient. Okay, so wrap that in brackets. Okay, so this is going to be the tree's x position minus the so minus making it further left the collision box's left top x minus the player margin's left top x times the player margin coefficient. So that will give us the top left box. Top left point uh, for the x. So we still need to do y equals the trees dot position dot y minus minus meaning further up. This box dot uh, left top dot y. Yep. Margin. Okay, that. so that's one point out of four for this tree. Oh, why? why would you do this? Did I push up some brackets? Okay, so. Really? Why? Oh my god, seriously? I got it again. This is right. 
Okay. Now the second point would be the top right, which means that we want the tree's position X plus, because we're going to the right, the boxes, uh, right, right bottom, dot X. So it's the right hand side X plus, the player margin, right bottom, dot X, times the coefficient. And then the Y is gonna be the same. Yes. I wonder if it'd be better to like modify this box variable. I'll create a new bounding box to represent. That's okay. That's fine. Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to be that? Yes, this is top left. Come on, please. Top right. Uh, bottom left. Okay, so now we need the left part of this, which is this one. And the bottom part, which is going to be y equals true dot position dot y. And then the bottom part, it means more y. Box dot bottom right dot y plus uh, bottom right y. This one is going to be bottom right, so we can take this part, take the right part, okay, and then the bottom part. So that will multiply the number of trees by four to get the number of nodes. So let's just see. Um, let's just do this and return an empty array. And then it will find it and it will say pathfind no steps. Okay, but we also logged unable to find. Great. Okay, so here. Let's put a message that says uh, log found uh, number trees, trees and generated number of nodes, uh, navigation points. That is going to be info. Oops. Okay. Now control is leaving a blank logger is going to start it. Cool. So that should do it. Okay. So now we want to pathfind. Comma. Okay. Don't need this anymore. Not put that log. Okay. Save it and restart the game. Let's just do a quick, I guess, compile check. This is not walkable terrain. Grass. Pretty sure grass is walkable. Uh, did I delete the is possible? No. Oh. Programming is hard, but I didn't run into any. Uh, I guess I didn't get to the point of doing the path fighting. There it is. Okay, fifty four.
make sure that none of the points intersect with any of the trees, because if I put a point inside of another tree, then that is bad. So... That means that I need to do another loop over each tree, for each other tree. Okay. So for each tree, we find a point. So... Let's make a util function to check if the point is collided with in any of these list of entities. So, if self uh, point collides entities, point being top left, list of entities being trees, and we'll do if not that, then nodes, number nodes, plus one, equals, come left. Okay. In fact, we could even refactor that a little. Oh my god, this whole indentation thing. <laughs> For uh, I and point in pairs of Now, the other thing is we need to exclude the tree that this itself came from. Because this point would collide with its own tree. This is each point collides with entities, trees, and then let's do an exclusion list as a third parameter of this tree. Okay. Okay, so what do we call that function now? Point collides with entities. Point entities exclusion. Excluding. Uh, K EXCL equals EXCL list. So for Uh, Lua has such bad, like, array manipulations. Structures of rays. Okay. This is a good uh, utility method, but uh,
says B. If not, uh, self contains. No, uh, XCL. D. So this item is not in the exclusion list, then. We want to check if the point collides with its colli with the collision box for this entity. So that means that we need to do all this fuckery again um, with the point and the entity. So I guess the general gist of it is going to be that the entity defines a collision box and then plus some margins, uh, which is basically this stuff. So we want something along the lines of... If the point dot x is greater than the entity dot uh, pro, well, let's get the let's get the box out. <sighs> entity pro type dot collision box. Okay. So if the x point is greater than the box. Uh, left top x uh, minus the margin stuff. Um, do I care about that stuff here? Yes, I do. Okay, it means I need to pass the player in, or I need to move the player out. Uh, okay, it's about to play right. Come on, crap. This is getting to the point where I think I need to set self up player on the perfect point task. Like when you construct it, you provide a player. Oh well, I can do that on all tasks. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, okay, so it's player point. Okay, great. Uh, then we'll just do copy that. Pop that over there. Great. Uh, okay, so let's do something like player margins dot left top dot x. Uh, player margins. This thing left top equals the thing with an x in it, and that equals uh, player margin dot left top dot x times player margin coefficient. And the y equal to play margin dot left top dot y times play margin coefficient. Okay, the second thing is going to be right bottom x equals. Okay, so if the points x is greater than this, and this is gonna be a crazy copy of things. Okay, point dot x is less than box dot uh, right below to me, but x plus player margins right bottom x and point dot y is greater than box dot left top y minus player margins dot top dot, dot y and point dot y is less than box dot 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 that is uh, right bottom dot y plus <sighs> yes correct okay player margins dot Now what am I checking for here? If it collides. Okay, so I'm going to return true, because in this case it did collide. End that if statement. I'm going to knock that in a little more. Okay. Ugh, that's kind of unfortunate. But whatever. Otherwise, we get through all of the for loops. 
Then we're going to return false. Okay, this is going to this is the n squared part of the problem. Great. Move it. Okay, so then no, it's no one tree. Okay, great. So now it should, in theory, work to eliminate the things that are crossed over. So if I can run this, we don't get any errors, and we get a list uh, of less than. Let's put it in here. Expected. But not, uh, number trees. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Hopefully this is higher precedent. Uh, yeah. Factorio. Boom, undismissed simple near dash. What did I do wrong? Uh wait. Oh near tilde? Oh, not. Okay. I'm stupid. Uh did I do another if not as well? Yes. I know how to lure. Okay, try again. Alright, Factorio. Okay. Code ran. Output log says, found zero trees and expected zero. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess it's technically working. Let's give it another go. Okay. It's working for the case of no trees. So there's that. Here we go. This is a good map. Index field character, nil value. Uh, Pathfinder point fifty nine. Wait, what? the signature in one place and forgot to do it elsewhere. I am a genius. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to happen this time. It's going to work for sure. 100% and there's no trees. And... Hey, no trees. Alright, let's just get rid of this. Here we go. We should find a seed that has a lot of trees. I'm going to use that. <clears throat> here we go. Perfect. Great. Lots of trees. And... Error. Okay, that means that, in theory, I should be able to fit between these two trees. Which I cannot. Which means something else went wrong. Um, found 268 trees, that's cool. Generated 1072 navigation points. Uh, but there are a lot of overlapping trees, I don't really know why... Hmm... So that means that it didn't find any collisions. Right? Uh, where am I? This is if the point collides. Which means that it never returned true here. Which means that this might be weird. Uh, point X is greater than box left pop minus player. Oh, this might be, should be less than. I think I might have been better that. This point here would be like negative 37 x, and then y would be like 35.5. Okay, which means the point x would be should be less than the left top minus the margin. Yes. Okay. So I fucked that up. Okay. So that should be less than. The point x should be greater than the right bottom x. Wait. 
No, no, I think I might have been right the first time. So, <laughs> oh god. So if the point X is less than this, then it will be outside the box for sure. Okay, so I do want green then. And then it should be less than that. Okay, no, I was right the first time. Uh, and then for the Y, if the Y is greater than the left top's Y and less than the bottom left's Y, then we're inside this box. Okay, okay, I was good, I was right. So, if the other thing could be that this player margins left top X, left top X times that. That should be okay, because the margins, yeah, because the margins are going to multiply like further into the negative. The only case that this would be a problem would be if the... Oh my god. Why Why does Adam do this? Okay. The only reason this would be a problem is if like the center of the object was up here, which means it ended the bounding box over here, so then the offsets would be like plus and further plus. Um, but I don't think that's possible. That's not how factorial works. So... I mean, the only thing I can think would be that the logical operators are getting a weird precedence. I need to do this, but I really doubt that. That would be super bizarre Lua behavior. Um, the box is the entity's collision box. The point is the point that was passed in. The player margins are correct. Okay, well, let's just see if I can find a place where this is really broken. So, we're going to say... Too fucking hard, man. Okay, so this is top left Y minus margin top left Y. So it's gonna be the top, top Y, bottom right Y. Okay, so that's that box. Okay. This is the left hip box. Left top dot X. Hip. Oh, why is that hard to type? Me? Uh, right box X. Box left top up Y head box uh, right bottom the Y okay so does this thing collide with uh, this can just be head box right For levels, well, let's put it out to debug level just because in case I leave it. Well, actually, no one is way faster. The box is input upgrade. Okay, and Victoria and reset again. Give me a map with trees. And I uh, should do it, yeah.
Uh, wait, is it still searching? Did I kill Factoria? It's very possible. Did I kill Adam? <laughs> Factory is not really chugging, it's just... Oh, there we go. Okay, it was actually really chugging. Uh, are there a lot of trees over here? These aren't all trees, though. That's a tree. That was very strange. Why did we get so friggin' many? I got 6,000 log lines for 160 points. Oh, because I'm checking each tree, each four points against all 160, 159 other trees. God. Okay, but I mean. Looks like it's always checking against the one first tree, though. Like, that hitbox is... Oh, the hitbox is the... That's why I fucked up. Okay. So my problem is that this hitbox is that it's the collision box plus the player margins, but it doesn't have anything to do with the... the position of the actual... Um, object. So what I actually need to do is also include entity. All right, let's let's uh, let's fix the well. Let's make, put the fact down to debug, so we don't need to see it. So this actually needs to be uh, entity uh, position x minus the hitbox. And then this will be entity position x plus the hitbox. One day I'll learn how to spell. And then this will be. I mean, I should really put that in here actually. Now that I think about it. So cut that. Paste it. Cut it. Paste it. Uh, this is left top y. There. And then this one is going to be entity position uh, y minus. Wait, left top should be both minus. Yeah, this one should be minus. Position y minus the left top y minus play margins, and this one should be plus. Plus. So we're making the box bigger in both dimensions. Scaling the box up. Okay, great. By a particular say, a scale on the player margin, the player margin, the player size. Okay, great. Okay, so that resizes the hitboxes, or at least positions the hitboxes, puts them in the correct points. Uh, let's clear the output log. We shouldn't see all of that logging. But let's actually do put a put this. So this now should only log out the ones where they actually do collide. So let's just do point x y collides, and then that should we should verify if we see any of these, which we should in theory. Uh, well, I guess it depends on the, the trees, but. We can pretty quickly verify if it's an impossible gap between two trees. Uh, okay, let's see. Reset. Okay, go. And looks like there's no trees. 
Okay, and I put the log. Yeah, zero trees. Nailed it. Try again. And uh, what do you know? I'm in a freaking desert again. Okay. Maybe. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay, so we got expected 280, found 280. So I shouldn't be able to find any trees that I can't walk between, like to the right and south of me. Uh, so these two, but I don't know if dead hairy tree counts as a tree. I think it, well, I guess it should, huh? Oh, here is another, here's another two. Okay, so that definitely didn't work there. You can go through here. These two here. Can I fit through here? Yes. What about here? Yes. Oh, look at that forest. Oh, I guess the other thing is it only goes to X50, Y20, right? So let's just see where we are. Uh, where's my position log? Oh yeah, I'm well within the box. 50 to 20. And I can't pass through between these two trees. So I guess the other question would be, is this is this dead hairy tree <laughs> a... Uh, Oops. Uh, is the dead hairy tree counted as a tree? Because I may not have actually searched for and found it. So let's look. Okay. So what's my position here? Because I can just add one Y. 18 and 3. So uh, let's go back up. I think I can find one where I have a... Uh, I don't really care about the area. I don't want the tile stuff. Here we go, position. So eight, x18, y is 4. Uh, do we have anything found there? Nothing. Uh, what about, okay, so what about 3? Nothing there. Wait, what? Hold the phone. I'm supposed to be at that position. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so that works. Give me my position again. <clears throat> 18.6 and 3.4. 6, 8, 7, 5. Oh, maybe because I oh, see. So yeah, if I'm looking right at this very, this very tip of that corner there, it's not inside that box. So maybe we need to bump that over and make it like 3.5, uh, 4.5, I guess. Right? There we go. Got it. Okay. So then we get item number one. Uh, let's do name. His name is 19. Excellent. Uh, prototype. Dot name. Oh, that's the number of letters. Excellent. I am a genius. Dead, dry, hairy tree. And then prototype dot name. Dead, dry, hairy tree. Okay, great. So that actually means that my stuff is working to a degree because this, this is not filtered. Even though it is collidable, like I'm not selecting it in my filter. Um, I will need to. <laughs> but uh, it's not. Now, this is a bit more of a problem because these are definitely trees and I cannot fit between them. But then I wonder if my this pushed the bounding box outside of that rectangle. Shouldn't have. It should be well and truly colliding there, I guess. Hmm. Where's my, what's my position now? Tell me I'm outside. 
Nope. And then there's like a ton of shit in here, which is, well, actually doesn't really look like there's that many colliding trees. I think I'm on top of what, coal or something? Or just a lot of like terrain prettiness. Hmm. 36, 17, 44, that's 52. That's 50. 50 and 20 is going to be up here. This one. Okay. So there's definitely some trees that are, I feel like, intersecting. And I didn't find anything. Hmm. Did I mess up my boxes? Hmm. I wish I could draw. I wish I could draw a box using uh using the mod. I guess well maybe I can. Maybe. Uh I don't know how I would do that. I guess GY something. Little GUI. Little GUI element. Add add a child element. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hmm. No, it's not going to do it. Hmm. Hmm. So why oh why? X is greater than left top. X is less than right bottom. Greater than left. Less than right. Mm hmm Greater than top. Less than bottom. Yep. Well, I guess let's go. Let's put this back to info, and then we'll see a bunch of output again. Assuming we have uh, some kind of a tree. Uh, we do have a tree. Oh, we don't. We don't bother searching if the tree is not walkable. <sighs> Optimizations. Hey, that's a lot of trees. And froze the game. Thinking, thinking. I mean, I'm not seeing any that say that it does collide. There's a lot of checks. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be... Thousands of checks for the same point against a bunch of other trees. Oh god. Tilted. Why? 
Okay, we're done. Uh, okay, Factorio, completed goals, great. So, how many lines did we get? Oh, good, 22,000. 75 trees, expected... 75 generated 300, that sounds right. So, again, it's telling me that I didn't find any... collisions. Which I think is not... I think can't be true. Whatever. Well, I guess we should need to look at the Factorio. Uh, let's get rid of the hitboxes. So there should be no two. Yeah, there's like red shit on the ground. Basically, what this uh, Pathfinder tells me is that there are no two trees that I cannot path between. Which looks actually to be correct in this case. Is there a way to turn off all the like decorations on the ground should pass. Because there's just so many collision rectangles, it's like fucking impossible to see anything in there. Um, okay, well, it's kind of good, I guess, that we didn't find anything because it looks like there aren't any. It looks like there are no trees that are preventing me from going between them. All trees are look aroundable. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I just got lucky with that map. Uh, unfortunately, this is incredibly difficult to, to visually parse. <laughs> um, if I can find a point that is inside those, then that would be a good smoking gun, I guess. So it looks like the first tree is at seven, seven two. Oh, this is also weird. Four two zero one one. Four two zero one one. Is this always the same? Did I mess this up? Left top X, left top X, right bottom X. Position X minus left top X minus player margins. Why is the left top and right bottom of the hitbox the same? Uh. Oh. Let's look at the data. So, I think I know what's going on here. So the trees Yes, so the collision boxes are negative for the left top offsets, which means I always want to be adding because that will always give me the right direction. Hmm. What's happening now is that my left side I'm adding a negative amount and it's bringing it back to zero and my right side I'm subtracting a positive amount bringing it back to zero so my my boxes are always points okay well it's good that I'm not insane so here we always want to do add because the left top is always going to be negative add add okay and then the player margins are going to be the same right we always want to add I guess, thank you, Fractorio developers. Okay, so the collision thing will work. Now for this one, my point... Yeah, it's the same deal, I always wanna add. Because this collision box is gonna be a negative, the left top is gonna be negative values. And for the player margin, same thing, left top is gonna be negative values, so. 
always want to add, although true position y minus, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Which is kind of interesting, actually. I wonder if that means I can now like refactor this a lot. Because I'm not getting all the same, right? I'm getting left top, left, left top, right bottom, left top, left top, right bottom, right bottom, right bottom. Yeah. So I'm actually getting different stuff in each level. Always adding, always adding. Okay, great. Okay. Once more into the breach. Uh, probably no trees. <laughs> That's a really cool, uh, that is a really cool pathfinding uh, example. All right, I'm gonna save that uh, map seed. S bend. Uh, we'll call it S bend. Uh, is that the save button? Yes. And then load game, S bend, map exchange. Copy that, and we'll just drop it into our control. All right, let's try again with the, to see if the trees, seriously? How is, okay, well that is just a shitty spawn. Holy shit. Okay. All right, cool, we're now searching. Thinking, we're thinking. There we go. I wonder if I slow it down. I'm sort of slowing it down by keeping the the log file open. Uh, it's okay. Okay. So, oh shit! I also didn't clear the file before I started doing this again. Uh, Adam, please. All right. Well, let me just delete it. Save it. We'll do it one more time. I left 20,000, 22,000 log lines in my log file, so rip me. Okay, cool. Looks like there's a few. Two trees. Team. Oh my god, Adam. Do I need to kill Adam with this memory? Ugh. Adam is using 600 megabytes of memory. All right, I'm gonna terminate Adam. Yeah, yeah, reload. Thinking. Okay, so these four points should be the, f the, f wait, what, no, this, yeah, this tree, this is colliding with other trees, great, 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 okay, cool, so I don't see any hits. Nine trees, 36 points, expected 36, which means that as I run around in Factorio, I should not see any like trees super close to each other. In fact, let's turn back on the collision rectangles. Uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> nope, that one, nope, nope, that one. Okay, so tree, tree. Um, and we're just gonna be going up to here. 40 and 18, 44, 21. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're pretty much just like up to here. Great, so anything, yeah, there's not really very much, is there? 
There's like a few trees down here, but I think this is too far south now. Yeah, like maybe this this tree. Oh no, that's not even a tree. So this is like maybe some trees in here. Okay, no collisions. I buy that. I buy no collisions in that forest. And I buy no collisions on this map as well. Uh, let me just... How many did we... Not too bad. <coughs> Save that right. Yep. Oh god. Get ready to wait. And now we crash the game. Thinking, thinking. So what we're waiting for is the completed goals message. Um, and then we'll go check in Adam, but there's like a thousand trees. <laughs> and we're going to generate four times N squared log messages, which kind of sucks. Adam has gone from 120 megs to 500 megs now. Garbage collect. Garbage collect. Adam's actually using more CPU than Factorio. Note to self, close Adam. Or close the tab in Adam before you do this. I feel like it'd be better to tail my uh, log file. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. Damn. Well, while we're waiting, I may as well uh, get there. It is. Um, push D. Uh, is that Adam crashing in the background? Keep it open. Oh my god. Uh, wait a minute. Where am I? What am I looking at here? I want... I do want to update it, right? What is happening now? Okay. Okay, rooming. Factorio script output tail Okay. This is Factorio thinking. Oh I wonder if this is uh the game actually like delegating to my script for short periods of time each frame. And capping the execution runtime. That's why it's like flashing up. It could also be because tail like reads the file in chunks. Hmm. Okay, this may have been a little bit of a bad idea. ¿Qué pasa? I am Michael. Do I not have a write permission on my own file? <laughs> it's up to 8.2 megs in the log file. <sighs> Adam. Adam, why? Also, come on, Factoria. Like, get your shit together. Okay, well, if I've learned anything, then it's, uh... 
there's a lot of trees and that causes a lot of problems. So I wonder if there is a way that I can like subdivide the problem because I definitely don't need to like worry about collisions between uh, trees that are out of like way away from each other. So, but I still need to look at each other tree to know that it's away from the others. Right? Do I? I guess I could also ask the game for each of the four points, give me the other entities that are at that point. Um, or give me the entities that are within this area. But that doesn't account for my extra margin because I want to add the margin on each. I guess I could add the... F I could double the player margin. Okay, I'm going to kill it. Calling it. R.I.P. Factorio. And R.I.P. Atom. Oh, Atom's only taking 45 megs? Can I, like, uh, close file? Close tab. Okay, let's fire up Factorio again. <clears throat> okay, so I think I need to use the, the time... Uh, <laughs> I have a little bit of time baked in while the... game is building my pickaxes. Uh, so I need to use that time wisely and cut Factorio... and like cut it off if it's going to be a problem. Uh, let me see if I can get Adam up again. Oh, I guess while this is... Where did it go? Let's see if I can write back my file now. Okay, great. And... Adam is not a fan of big files. Come on, Adam. Close tab. Nothing? No one? No? Uh, force it too close. Okay. So now that I've erased the file, <laughs> hopefully when I open Adam this time, it sees that that file is empty and then it's happy. Otherwise, why do you still have this in your buffer, you, you stupid, stupid, stupid application? Okay, great. All right, we did it. We're back. <laughs> okay. Nope. Adam is still not happy. Can we, like, safely close it now? Just keep waiting. Let's just see what happens if we keep waiting. Okay, so the output log file is empty, and Adam does correctly notice that it is empty. <sighs> what is going on? Okay, let's terminate. 
Reload. Come back to me, Adam. I need your boot. Why? Just forget about all that stuff. It's not in the file anymore. Team? Alright, you're bad. You're just terrible. Let's just uh, close window. Okay, and I, now I better open Adam again. Can I like... How do I get a, like a new... Just... Look at this fucking thing. Look at it. It's not doing anything. It's it's booting up. And it's got 600 meg of RAM. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna keep waiting. This looks like one of those bad maps that's gonna destroy my computer again. Funny thing is, I don't actually think it was fact. Oh my god! I don't actually think it was Factorio. I think it like purely Adam trying to write, <clears throat> trying to open such a big file. Okay, well let's let's see how this one goes. Let's uh, tail the file. There it is. Okay. This one has a few trees, I don't know about... Thinking, thinking... Man, I wish I could fix... <laughs> Adam, because <laughs> then I could fix. <gasps> it's alive. Get the fuck out of here, Adam Tab. All right, we did it. <clears throat> uh, now I need to just do that because that was driving me insane. Um, so I'm not seeing any collisions in here either. I'm still searching. There's a lot of trees in this map apparently. Uh, okay, still searching. There we go. Done. Nice. We expected 272 and we generated 244. That means that there were some points that were not valid. Um, because they were inside another entity. That is super freaking cool. Which means that somewhere inside that forest, there is <laughs> there are points, what is it, like 30-ish? Like 28 points that... Uh, intersected where each tree generates four points uh, and I need to add more. Now of course you have probably noticed that that is an incredibly slow thing for 68 trees <laughs> and that is because n squared algorithms suck um, but I don't think there is a like uh, box collision algorithm in less n squared squares did Fastest way to work out 2D bounding box intersection. <laughs> I need to check this. Check to see if it's close enough to intersect. If they intersect on both axes, then the box intersect. If they don't, then they don't. Edge touching is intersection. Yada 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 yada. A small but significant speed increase by storing the half width and half height in addition to the full width and full height. On the other hand, it's rare for a chitty bunny wood. What? Uh...
Collision detection, a huge number of circles. Divide the whole space into overlapping squares and check for collision only when circles that are in the same square. Squares need to overlap, so the problem with a circle moves from one square to another. At the beginning, <laughs> distances between every pair of circles needs to be calculated. The distance is small, stored in some list. We need to check for collision in every update. If the distance is big, then we store it. Okay. Yeah, so this would be using the uh, the surface get tiles, uh, sorry, get entities to find other entities that are nearby. And so I'd have some margin and find the other trees that are nearby. Rather than searching every other tree, I would just find the other trees that are nearby. Um, we could try that real quick, and then I'll probably call it a night for tonight. Um, so point collides with entities, player point entities exclusion. So it'd probably be something more like five point point task. Uh, hmm. No, it's gonna be a little more complicated. Hey, loser man. Uh, Lomza man. <laughs> I think you should treat trees as obstacles and just remove them when they abs actually obstruct. Uh, you mean have the player remove them? Have the player go through and cut them down? Um, I could do that, uh, but when you get into like situation uh, like this where you have sort of like a really big forest, um, I would like it if I could just like slip between the trees to get to my destination. Um, what I'm building here is a, a more of an abstract um, AI framework i guess so that um as uh as i'm working on building the ai to play factorio i can sort of just say like move to some point uh, and it will move there or pathfind to some point and it will navigate itself around um around obstacles and i would also treat terrain as an obstacle so this situation right here like if i was started in this position and i wanted to get over to here where this tree is Currently, the way that it works, uh, it will just find the location of that tree, find the angle direction, and then try and walk in that angle, and we get stuck here on the on the coastline. Um, so the Pathfinder, in theory, will be able to locate this um, corner here, indent a little bit, and then path to there, path to here, and then path down to that tree, and so then he'll walk around the coast as you would expect uh, a player to walk. So. Um, that's kind of my goal. Uh, the reason I don't want to sort of just sort of just say uh, go ahead and cut down whatever obstacles in your way um, is that it, there might be obstacles like terrain. Uh, there might also be obstacles like pieces of my factory. So if you're putting, if you build down a, I mean, even if you build um, a furnace, right? Like you can't run through the furnace. Um, so that should also show up in my um, pathfinding algorithm is to navigate around pieces of the factory. Uh, because if you remove the pieces of your factory, then uh, you're destroying your factory. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to call for tonight. I think we made some good progress on um, the collision detection. Um, I need to actually filter down this list of entities because at the moment what we're doing is we're searching, we're saying for each entity, create four points. And then for each of those four points, check it against every other entity to see if it collides. Um, in this case, uh, that gives us four times uh, n squared uh, things to search through. Um, and in the last map that I just did, it we had 68 trees. 
Uh, <laughs> so, 4 times n squared. It's going to give you, what, 68 squared? Where's my calculator go? That's going to be that times four eighteen thousand 18,000 uh, iterations that you have to do, which in computing is not that much, um, but apparently factorial Lua it is. Um, I'm also doing a lot of crap here where like I'm pulling stuff out, I'm writing a lot of log files, so I could be slowing it down that way as well, but I think it'll be better to, for each tree, uh, ask factorio for entities that are nearby, uh, maybe within one or two tiles of the tree itself. Um, and then check the collision against those. So that would like greatly reduce. I mean, basically, we're putting more load on Factorio to like give us entities that are within that point, uh, within that area. Uh, hopefully, though, since that's in C, it can do the 10,000 iterations or whatever it needs to do to figure that out. Um, and then we'll be good. So, um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's going to be it for tonight. I'll come back and probably work on this a little more uh, during the week. But uh, if you want to see that, then I guess follow me on Twitch and you will get notified when I go live. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying the, the project. Um, send me a message if you like on, on Twitch and I'll try and answer it uh, either by responding to you or uh, during the stream. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.